Hi, Tyler Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete, and today we're going to be doing a little concrete slab for the homeowner here. Uh, it's going to be for a shed that the homeowner will be building. I'm just going to be doing the slab for him. And I'm going to be doing this uh, solo, one guy, from start to finish. I think this is a really good DIY project for any homeowner to take on. But as you can see here, as I started grading for the shed slab, I started running into a massive root system, so I'm assuming there was a big tree here at some point, but that's okay. I just kind of exposed them and then cut them out with the sawzall. And now I am setting up the layout for the shed slab. Uh, I'm just transferring elevation uh, from the existing driveway, and I'm using that as my benchmark height. And I'm just putting a little bit of slope on this shed slab uh, from the front to the back. I got about 1% slope on it. And it's about an 8 by 12 so we're going to be doing one crack control joint in this uh, slab in the middle. And that'll do it. The native soil here was pretty good, so I didn't need to bring in any uh, road base. I just kind of wet this uh, native soil up and compacted it with my compactor. And it got pretty tight so now I'm just uh, forming it up with the string lines I set up Now I got number three rebar going in here, uh, two foot on centers. And we're gonna be pouring this out at 3000 PSI. I also got some dobies that I threw under this grid so I don't gotta mess around and pull them up during the pour. But anyways, here's pour day. Um, I got my main man Lolo on the pump. I actually went to high school with him so kinda cool that he pumps concrete. So anyways, uh, he actually hopped on the rod and even helped me rod this out. I mean, he, I could have done this solo, but uh, I had my my friend here. So he just helped me pump it and then pull the, the board back. And there it was. We got it all rotted out. And now I'm just uh, hitting it with the bowl float. This project here took me uh, two days. Uh, I spent about six hours each day on this project and I was able to get it done in two days. If I had to hand mix this, um, it still would have taken me two days, but the poor day would have just taken me a couple extra hours if I had to hand mix it solo. And it's just a lot more work to do that if you're doing it solo, but it's definitely still possible. Now I got the walking edge route and I'm hitting all the edges after both floating it. Alright guys, I'm here solo today. We're just uh, finishing this little shed pad and uh, my pumper just left, just got out of here, and I'm cutting in this joint now. And uh, as you can see, all I did here was I put a straight edge 2x4 on it. I uh, got my pencil marks right here, and I got another pencil mark on that other side. Let's get this on close up though. Here it is. And what you want to do when you're cutting uh, your joints in is you want to make sure you're flush 
against this 2x4 and flush against this 2x4 so you know you got a perfect 90 right here they're gonna be straight down and you just keep it nice and pushed up against this 2x4 and you can cut your joint in There it is, nice and straight. Now that I cut in my joint with the straight edge 2x4, I know I got that dialed in. I'm gonna hit it with the walking edger one more time and then after I hit it with the walking edger, I'm going to knock out all those lines that I created in the concrete with a hand flow and then a steel trowel. You know, here's another good technique that's a, you know, good practice, good habit to get into is uh, cleaning your forms. So you see all that concrete on top of your 2x4, you just want to knock that off with a trowel uh, or anything you got. The technique here is to uh, hit all the edges first and then you want to float the concrete with your hand float to pull up that cream and then you hit it with your steel trowel and you repeat that process as you work your way back but now I'm uh, hitting the shady section a little more wet over here but we did have 1% accelerator in this concrete mix that I added just to help the concrete uh, go off a little quicker and uh, get me out of here a little faster. And then we're going to be brooming this uh, concrete slab with the world famous 50% horsehair, 50% nylon concrete broom. And I know a lot of guys like to use the uh, green concrete broom and it's totally personal preference. But let me know what, guy, what, uh, what broom you guys like to use.
So there it is. That's the 50-50 special uh, concrete broom, that is. I'm also going to be stripping the forms on this shed slab uh, same day. But other than that, the uh, concrete turned out real beautiful, as you guys can see there. I hope this video helped you guys out and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future for me. Anyways, this has been Tyler Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.